So when I create my videos, I use software called OpenShot, which is a free application that you can download from the internet and use in order to do basic video editing. And I recently came across another one called Shotcut. And I realized that Shotcut has a lot of features that makes the life of users easier. So for example, if I brought a video file onto this video track, I can by selecting a timestamp and press the S button, I can cut the video like that without having to, you know, do right click and whatever. That feature is actually is available in OpenShot. I was playing around with it, except that it's a, I have to press and bring import a video into here as well. I have to press Control and K. And with shortcut, you can just press the, the S button shortcut you can just press the s button and then it cuts it for you and i was thinking you don't you don't really type that much on video editors while you're editing videos on it unless you're creating subtitles i suppose so why not use just a single key shortcut to cut the video so i created well i added to my existing auto archive script that contains all my shortcuts or hotkeys and added this remapping lines of codes, which only works when my active window is open shot. So right now I can just go press a C button or C key anywhere, and then it will cut for me instead of having to go control K. So that, that helped a, a little bit. And also what I normally do is for my Korean version of the auto hockey tutorial videos, I just dubbed over the English one. So but I still use the OBS Studio, which is a video recorder of the screen um, to record the audio as well, because OBS Studio has some noise filtering function that allows users to block out the background noise as well as the electric feedback noises. And so my all my audio files become recorded as a video file. And when I'm imp imported, I have to go right click and separate the audio out like this. Whereas with Shotcut, you're simply able to add just another track that is audio and drag and drop your video file onto the audio track and you're going to extract just the audio side of the video file. Now that's not possible in OpenShot and I do a lot of that for a single video so I got sort of tired of that. So what I did is I created another sh shortcut by pressing the S key. I made it so that it sends the right key and then the arrow keys and the enter key to basically reach this point and separate the audio out. So right now I can simply select a video file and press the S key to split out the audio file without having to perform all the clicks. So if you're a professional video editor, you can create custom hotkeys like this using AutoHotKey. And in whatever profession you are, if you are using a computer software to do your job and you perform repetitive tasks over and over again, you can use AutoHotKey to save yourself some hassles like this. Thank you for sparing your time to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one.